cells grow and reproduce by dividing. To do this, they undergo a process called the cell cycle. During the cell cycle, important processes like cell growth and DNA synthesis occur. This can be defined as the process in which a cell duplicates its DNA, produces more of its own constituents and then divides into two new cells. A full cycle usually occurs within 24 hours in mammals, although in some organisms like yeasts, it can be really fast, taking only 90 minutes. The cell cycle can be divided into two essential phases, the interphase and the mitosis phase, also called the M phase. Here we will focus on the interphase, the longest of the two. It accounts for about 95% of the time of the cell cycle. It is the phase in which the cell prepares to divide. The interphase from inter meaning between, also called the resting phase, is the phase of the cycle in which the processes of cell growth and DNA replication take place. The interphase can be further divided into three phases, namely G1 phase or gap one phase, S phase or synthesis phase, and G2 phase or gap two phase. We will see what happens in each one of these phases, but first, let's learn about some cells that don't divide at all. That's right, some cells don't divide at all, or they do it occasionally. Some examples are heart cells, liver cells, and neurons. So, what happens to these cells? Well, after they finish the M phase, G1 phase of the interphase, they enter the quiescent stage of the cycle, also known as the G0 phase. In this phase, the cells are very much alive and metabolically active, but they don't divide unless some specific conditions occur. Cells that are in the G0 stage are also known as post-mitotic cells. Let us get back to the cell cycle. The first phase is called the G1 phase. It occurs between mitosis and DNA replication. It is the longest phase of the interphase and hence of all the cell cycles taking around 40% of its duration. This is a phase dedicated to growth. Cell metabolism is active and increases the size of the cell but without replicating the genetic material. This means the DNA remains the same during this phase. The second stage of the interphase is called the S phase. This phase takes 35% of the cell cycle making it the second longest. During this period, DNA is synthesized doubling its amount. We can define DNA replication as the process by which two identical replicas of DNA are produced from an original DNA molecule. Normally the genetic content of a cell is noted as a 2C because it only has two copies of each gene. After replication, as the genetic content is doubled, we could note it as 4C, meaning it will have four copies of that gene. However, despite the increase in the genetic material, the number of chromosomes remain the same. There is no change in how many chromosomes the cell has as the new copies produced remain attached to the same chromosomes. Finally, during the S phase, centrioles are duplicated in the cytoplasm. The last phase of the interphase is called G2 or GAP2. This phase only takes from 12% to 22% of the cell cycle. This is a phase of rapid growth and protein synthesis. 
during G2, the cell finishes the preparations to enter the M phase or mitosis. These preparations include the synthesis of proteins and further cell growth. In this phase, the amount of DNA remains doubled and the number of chromosomes remain unchanged. However, despite being the shortest period of the interphase, it also includes a safety mechanism called the G2 checkpoint. This mechanism makes sure that everything is okay for the cell to enter the M phase. The G2 checkpoint will stop the cell from entering mitosis if the DNA is damaged and will allow the cell to repair its DNA. Thanks to the G2 checkpoint, the proliferation of damaged cells is prevented, avoiding terrible consequences for the organism, like developing cancer. The end of the G2 phase marks the end of the interphase. The cell cycle is the